Oh, there you are, my friends. I've been looking for you. It's been, what, almost a month? I know, you guys are so hard to find. Oh, it's so good to see you again. Welcome. All right, so today I got my hair done in braids. I got my hat on and I got my swimsuit top on. That only can mean one thing. Stay tuned. All right, so I have to go out to the shop to go get something. And that something is, we are going to go, what? Kayaking. Yes. So we bought an inflatable kayak. I don't know how long ago. We took it out one time. And um, so we're going to go take it out again because we have nothing going on. Finally, the 4th of July is done. We had some other stuff going on and it was just crazy. Did you see that? I could have swore there was something flying in here. So, the air, oh, there was a little bird in here. All right. So that is the air pump that we need. What you doing there, hon? Making some lunches. What you gonna make for lunch? Peanut, peanut butter? butter and jelly. That's what I thought. We would just do peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yeah, my, uh, my seatan meat was spoiled, so I can't have that. Yeah. He's also packing these baby bell. <laughs> uh, Here, Jake. Plant based cheeses. He really likes those. And homemade strawberry jam with some bread. My favorite peanut butter. So that is what we're going to have while we're out on the lake. A couple of peanut butter and jellies, some cheeses, maybe some granola type bars. Something just to take with us out on the water. So this is us backing out of the garage, heading to the lake. I'm telling you this no working stuff is pretty good. So we got the kayak. We got a picnic mum luck. Make sure you be, okay, we got the uh, inverter. We, we need, do have the inverter. We need the inverter. So the inverter does all the big work for us on the kayak, so it, it pumps it up, and then we have to finish it off by hand to get it the rest of the way because it only puts so much pressure uh, with the pump and the inverter. So if we want any any more inflated we have to finish it off by hand but anyways so uh we'll show you some of the uh the road as we're going up there because one part of the canyon is pretty and then the other stuff is just eh. but we'll see you down there <laughs>
tailing water. Are we sinking? I think we pulled the plug. I don't know where the plug is. Oh, it is in the back. We forgot to plug it in. I don't know where it's at. I think it's behind you. Can you pull over there to that beach? Can you drive over there? Yeah. All right, that is our view out of the big part of the lake by the dam, coming from the dam. Just beautiful. So we decided just to let the wind take us down in the lake instead of working our arms. But it's just nice just to sit out here and work on our tan. Right, hon? Yep. Just let it push us and uh, enjoying the time at the lake. Or the reservoir, I should say. It's not a lake, it's a reservoir. And if I haven't mentioned it before, we are at Kazi Reservoir. It's a beautiful lake. Or reservoir, I should say. Right, hon? So here we are out on Kazi Reservoir. And I'm taking a break. Me and Jared lost the tripod. <laughs> I don't know how. We should have known that our day would start off when we got in and we forgot to put the the water plug drain plug in in the boat. So I was bailing water out. I was like, I think we forgot to put the plug in. So, which is no big deal. I mean, it's still inflatable. Uh, but got my shirt all wet. So we got on shore, we emptied that out. Then we had to get back in the kayak. Then we got out and the water was just, I don't know, deep. And Angie dropped the tripod over the side. So, with the good camera holder on there. So, you can just call me tripod today. just beautiful. I know I say beautiful a lot, but it is. Isn't that just a pretty cliff? Look at the water, how green it looks. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Do you see what I'm looking at? Yeah. yeah. I will say the water is green today. Beautiful color. Now you know when a lake is pretty clear, and you can see a lot of the bottom. And I'm gonna pan up, and just the beautiful greenness. Can't get any prettier than today. We parked the kayak, we came all the way to the end. Hopefully nothing leaves us. I got my soda in the water there. Cooling it down. How 
How's your kayak trip so far, hon? More of a workout this time. I'm uncomfortable back there. Mm. Our trucks got crushed. Yeah. Isn't this lovely? The water is a little chilly, but we're, I'm going to take a walk up the, up the stream here just a bit. And see what's that all about. And hopefully I don't drop my phone. Flip you around and let's start walking up. Oh, that's pretty. See how that goes. Oh, nice little deep spot right here. Very pretty. It's like right in the little rapids. Maybe I should have taken the path. Ooh, let's go over. Let's go over there and see what's over there. Go on, wasp. Find any snakes. Oh, well, this is kind of cool. It's like an oasis. Oh my gosh. This is cool. I don't know what that is up there. Maybe I should go back and get Steve. So I went and got Steve so I could come back and show him this. Uh, cool spot. I guess you can park your kayaks back there and go for a hike. Because definitely this is a cool find. It's like we're on a deserted island. Isn't this cool? No. It's in a, like we're on a deserted island or something. I know I showed you this already. Whoa, I, um, I almost fell. Sorry about that, I almost fell. <laughs> because I kind of got a little in there too deep and didn't want to use my phone. Somebody made their own little camping spot. Come up here. Go. Bring a tent, some water. Nope, don't, they don't even need water. No, you could go. Look, they made a pool right here where they can take a bath. Well, let's go see. They didn't make it. Good time to get off. Walk around, take a break from sitting in the kayak. We've been here for a while. I suppose you should just go eat lunch at a kayak. Really cool back here. Who had ever thought that this would be back here if we would not have gotten off our kayak? So cool. Well, since we're down here, we're just going to go ahead and eat our lunch and enjoy the nature, the beauty of being outdoors. See ya. I gotta walk back out here in this ice cold water to get the kayak. So hopefully Angie doesn't drop the phone or anything. Or I don't fall on my butt. Yeah, that's why I got the camera on. Because with the way our day's been going. But it's been a beautiful day. Yes. And as you can see, with the sun out, how it makes this water green in places. 
<clears throat> He's a wimp. This water is not that cold. Ice cold. here since what almost 11 o'clock and it's probably going on Three. yeah so four hours of paddling yeah into the a lot of it into the wind I suppose I should help Steve <laughs> all right see you later so our day's coming to a close Somewhere around here where that kayak is, is I believe, well, between that big kayak and those tours, is my tripod. Yeah, I think we, that's where we lost because we pulled, pushed off of that, by those trees over there, and uh, came out Did to... Did you lose it after we plugged it? Yes. We, we pushed off from where those trees are. Yes. Yes. Came out to somewhere in the line that we're going is my tripod. Well, actually, we're out a little bit more. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Alright, so that was our day at Kazi Reservoir. We, I had an enjoyable day. Did you have an enjoyable day? I did. My knees are a little sunburned. They don't look it, but they feel like they're on fire. So we dropped my t-shirt in the, the lake along with my uh, safety vest. Yeah, so we had to turn uh, back around. And go after that wind. And then turn around and go back into the wind. So we had to do it double time. Yeah, and you wanted to do another uh, finger on the reservoir so I've, I've quickly learned that whatever Angie wants to do 
say no and just do half. <laughs> so. Anyway, huh. so it's 319. I think we got here about 11. Yeah. A little bit before 11. So probably four hours, a little under four hours rolling around the lake. Urgh. Yeah, we got some good exercise done. All right, so that's it for this episode of Soup to Nuts. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you on the next one. See ya. Bye.